Hi, you're, you're watching, watching Dante's, Dante's Boxing Nation. Nation. Woo! <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> By camera. Like All right, good. text her. Let her know because we gonna eat dinner here. All right, so we gonna find that restaurant in the level because I'm I'm tired as hell. <laughs> I ain't traveling no damn place for sure. Now, first thing I want to ask you, man, you've been in this meeting room, the fighters meeting room, forever, man. So why? So how did that go down, man? We Your first time doing this. Got to interview all the fighters. Uh -huh. um, so um, you got, um, you know, obviously four main events essentially. Uh, title fights leading up to the main event. So you're talking about eight different fighters. Uh -huh. And so we had to interview all of them, yeah. you know, and their trainers and stuff like that. And then, you know, they basically, you know, it's a pay-per-view event. And so you got to go through everything, every nook and cranny, because people are paying their hard-earned money to see you. Mm -hmm. um, I take it very seriously. I'm just exhausted because I've been up since 4 in the morning because I had to do first take this morning. Then I had to do my radio show on Sirius XM Mad Dog Sports Radio. Then I had to come over here and do all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, it's been a crazy day, but it's my first day ever doing anything like this. I've done a lot of things in my career. I have never done uh, color commentary on a boxing match in my career until tomorrow night. And mm -hmm. So I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait for it. Um, it just don't look that way right now because I'm pretty damn tired. You, I know, you, I know you're right. tired, man. Let me just ask you real quick about the main event, man. No. How do you see the fight playing out, Jesse Vargas, Manny Pacquiao? It's hard to say. Um, you know, calling the fight, you want to be fair to both fighters. You know, you're not sitting on the sidelines uh, just watching from afar. I'm going to be ringside calling the fight. Uh, Ty Rank's obviously promoting it. You want to be as fair as you possibly can. Uh, you break it down, Manny Pacquiao's obviously the favorite. He's eight-time world champion. He's been on the big stage on many, many occasions. He knows what it takes. He knows what it requires. Um, his speed, his experience, his power, all are in his favor. The flip side is is that uh, Jesse Vargas got a four to five inch height advantage, at least a four inch reach, reach. advantage. Uh, they say his trainer Dewey and the crew say that he's been elevating his level of power. We know what he did to Saddam Ali, which is what earned him the spot to be in this position to begin with. And we saw Manny Pacquiao get put to sleep before mm -hmm. by Juan Manuel Marquez. And so when you look at it from that perspective, you got to recognize that cats like Bernard Hopkins, who I've known for over 20 years, and a few others will look me in the face and say, it takes dudes a decade to get over that kind of knockout. Mm -hmm. No matter if he's come back, no matter if he's went since he's come back, the reality is, is that that's always in the back of your head that you got put to sleep. You ain't getting knocked out, no TKO. You got put to sleep, uh -huh. you know, and so you remember that and you recognize that and you give Jesse Vargas uh, a puncher's chance because is there really that big of a discrepancy when it comes to power mm -hmm. between Juan Manuel Marquez and Jesse Vargas? Yeah. Um, I don't know the answer to that question, but I suspect it's not. Uh -huh. And so because of that, I would give Manny Pacquiao the edge. If I had to bet my money, um, I would, I would, I would pick a late round stop it somewhere around the 10th round, but it's primarily because, um, you know, Vargas is going to come. Mm -hmm. He's not going to back up, mm -hmm. and Pacquiao is going to be waiting for that. But at the same time, I'm not underestimating Vargas. I'm just saying if I had to bet my money, I'm going to roll with Pac, man, because of that experience. But it's boxing, and wow. anything can happen. And Vargas is counting on anything happening. He's a 7-1 to one underdog, yeah. and he's saying, let's go. Uh -huh. Do you find such irony that you're calling a Manny Pacquiao fight when you was obviously the number one fan of Floyd Mayweather? You had the exclusive of Floyd Mayweather. Or perceived. Or yeah. Per yeah, per yeah. You know, the interesting part about it is, is that um, people don't realize how cool Manny Pacquiao and I really are. You see well, him on first take. Know. You see him on first take. He's always laughing. He's always smiling. He literally likes making fun of me. Like, you know, he was talking about Floyd scared of him, and I took off my glasses. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell did you just say? And then he took off his glasses. He's scared, and he's just cracking up laughing, and he's always found me hilarious because deep in his heart, he knows I don't want him to get hurt. I'm not rooting against him or anything like that. It's just that with Floyd, um, I'm like, yo, Floyd going to beat him, and I ain't want to be wrong. 
You know, it's just that simple. Mm -hmm. I believe Floyd would beat him. I believe and Floyd would be him a super face. That I was believe, pretty bold. I believe, Floyd, <laughs> I believe Floyd is a superior boxer, and that's what the hell I told him. I tell anybody to their face, because I know I'm not wishing for you to be harmed. I'm not wishing negativity on you, but I'm not going to back up from what I feel. Mm -hmm. And if I feel you're going to lose, I feel you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. And that's what I told him. And so I was right. You know, he knows I was right. Um, but Manny Pacquiao and I have always had a great relationship. I spoke to him tonight. I was in his room tonight. We we spoke uh, for, for about a half hour to 45 minutes with the rest of uh, the top rank crew uh, broadcasting the fight. Um, and he was instantly started laughing because I'm sitting there. He sees me, starts laughing. He's like, oh, no, here he comes. And sure enough, I came with the question. You sure you ready? What you doing back for? Is, is this the only fight you're going to have? Or is there something else you're looking forward to? He said, I know where you're going. Going. I know this is how he is. So we vibe like that and what have you. But you know, cats who are real know where I'm coming from. I'm not trying to hurt anybody or anything like that. I'm gonna call it like I see it, and I'm gonna try to give the public what they want and what they expect. And if you know you you're not you're not looking forward to Manny Pacquiao because he fighting Vargas. You're looking forward to Manny Pacquiao because you expect him to be Vargas and you're hopeful that's going to lead to something even greater. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're doing. So if I'm sitting in front of him, damn it, I'm going to ask those questions. Mm -hmm. That's my job.